Good morning. Happy Saturday, guys. It's the best day of the week. I mean, they're all good. <laughs> but Saturday's a good day. I'll wait for some of you to join up before I start yammering. Coming on, I see you joining. I'm gonna make something fun this morning. I hope it comes out as good as the recipe looks, but I don't know. I'm winging it. Hi, Kay. So it's hard to know. This could come out excellent or horrible. The picture looks excellent, but we all know that the pictures in these blogs, most of the time, a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times are not indicative of the actual outcome. So <laughs> we're going to give it a go and see what it tastes like, looks like. I'm going to make zucchini bread whoopie pies. If you're not from the East Coast, you might not know what a whoopie pie is. I know that some people out there in the West don't have whoopie pies. Um, I am feeling so much better, Donna. Thank you. I feel back to my old self. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Um, but I had a friend from Minnesota who had never in her life heard of a whoopie pie. She thought it was the weird. She loved them, but she never heard what they were. So we're going to make zucchini bread ones. It's a keto recipe. It falls into an, probably a heavy S cause it's got a lot of almond flour in it. Um, I could, oh, thank you, Sarah. I could, um, replace the almond flour with baking blend now that I think about it maybe I'll do that maybe I'll do that to lighten them up a little bit you've never had a whoopie pie Megan <laughs> you all haven't lived until you've had a whoopie pie oh. <laughs> have you had actual whoopie pies Bonnie I hope so Oh, I'm, I'm happy to hear that, Donna. Thank you. Share this video because, you know, I want you to. I have no real reason other than to say, please help me. <laughs> All right. I got out my KitchenAid mixer this morning. Got this baby. Dug it out. I don't use it a whole lot anymore. I don't keep it off on my counter. It's full of, it's full of salt for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. It's clean, don't worry. But I don't use this nearly as often as I used to. Pre-THM, I used to have this thing on the counter and I used it constantly because I baked a lot. I love to bake. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> I just got up and my hair was was um, not horrible, so I just decided to fix it and I slept on makeup because, I don't know, because I wanted to, but <laughs> I don't know, Bonnie. I always heard that it was a Northeast thing. Um, I, di I didn't realize they were popular in the South. I know in the West, so they're, they're just not a thing out there, but people out there also eat peanut butter on their hot dogs, I've heard, so they're kind of weird. Just kidding, you guys. <laughs> not about the peanut butter, but I have heard that. Um, all right, so today's Big Hair Saturday. I'm your host, KJ, and we're discussing how big hair gets you closer to Jesus, apparently, because my hair is big this morning. All right, all right, we got a whole bunch on, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm gonna do for these, I did link the recipe in this video, at the top of the video, so if you wanna make these, you've got the recipe right there. Um, I wrote the recipe down this time with all the pertinent instructions. <laughs> so hopefully, I get it right on the first try. Here goes nothing. So it says a cup and a half of almond flour, but like I said, I think I'm gonna replace a cup of that with baking blend to lighten them up a little bit. So let me grab my baking blend. Well, it may not be a whole cup. It depends what I have left in this bag. All right. Let's 
spill it all over the counter. These bags are not the greatest for pouring. Well, look at that. I got a cup plus a little bit out of it. That's gonna end up on my floor at one point anyway, so this is a mic. So a cup of baking blend and then a half a cup of almond flour. I'll leave some almond flour in because that's what the recipe calls for, but I'll just replace it. I, I use, there are some thoughts on almond flour out there that if you're replacing it with baking blends, you need to use more or less or whatever. I don't bother. I, just, I use it one for one and I haven't had any issues, but I, I want a little bit of almond flour in there because I like the flavor better with almond flour than I do baking blend. I live in Tennessee and never had one. I've heard of them, but if you put one in front of me, I wouldn't know what it is. Seriously, Karen? Oh, well you haven't lived yet, girl. Today's your day. Today is your day. All right, you know what I should do? I should be smart and come over to this, count this cupboard once and get all my ingredients, because that might be one of the smartest things I've ever thought of, you guys. Baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, and xanthan gum. Look at me being all smart this morning. Might as well make my clothes all dirty. Um, and erythritol, which is over here. and I just placed a trim healthy order and meant to get more and you would think I would <sighs> Bonnie you don't group your ingredients together first you must be cuz girl I don't I don't over a campfire and cast iron pie maker interesting I gotta move you closer cuz I can't see without my bifocals I got bifocals yesterday. They're gonna be here in 10 days. I'm not entirely thrilled by that, but I got the cutest glasses. They're red with white polka dots. <laughs> All right, I'm off track. All right. I'm just going to bring all my measuring stuff over here. And my daughter's putting away dirty measuring cups again. All right. Teaspoon of xanthan gum. Don't you dare assume that earth is all <laughs> All right, <laughs> xanthan gum. One teaspoon of xanthan gum. Let's find a teaspoon. Seriously, this is what my kids been putting away the dishes out of the dishwasher. She's putting, she's not checking them first to make sure they got clean because, you know, dishwashers aren't always that good. But it's better than doing it by hand. Teaspoon of xanthan gum. Oh, Susan, I couldn't resist them anymore. I can't see. When I hold my phone down here, I have to do this or do this. Like an old lady. So, it was time. I'm really not looking forward to getting used to them. But... I, I am, Bonnie. I am grateful that she's doing the dishes. That's enough for me. All right, if, if I have to pick out a dirty dish here and there, I'm, I'm good with that. But, all right, half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Flung that all through my dishes, all through my mixers, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Cinnamon, half teaspoon of cinnamon. Nope, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Glad I got that. That was would have been bland. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and three quarters cup of erythritol. I've got a three quarter cup measuring cup in there. Must be dirty. So we'll use this. 
I've had astigmatism for quite a while. I think this is definitely bifocal. You're gonna like my glasses, Bonnie. When I put them on, I literally thought to myself, Bonnie would like these. They seemed right up your alley. I don't know. They just, they look like they fit your style. I think you're gonna like them. I, there was a pair that I really wanted that were like dark frame and then the bottom was clear, which is what I had a full intention of going in there and buying. I, that's what I've been wanting for a long time. But then I walked in and I saw these red glasses with polka dots and I love red. Red is my color. And I took one glimpse at them and I'm like, I think I'm gonna have to buy these even though I really wanted the clear ones on the bottom. And then my husband really liked the red ones, but I wasn't gonna take his full opinion because I just wasn't. So I asked the eye doctor, he came out and I'm like, which ones? And I put them both on. He said, the red ones are really cute. And then I put the other ones on, he goes, they make you look old. And I'm like, okay, it's the red ones. And they've got clip on like, um, they've got sunglasses, magnetic thing that just snap on. So you're right, Shelly, close enough is close enough. Don't, there's no precision around here. I'm not a precision baker and I never will be. All right, I'm just gonna mix that up a little. And I, I, I wasn't thinking, I meant to put my dry ingredients in a different bowl, but I put them in my mixer bowl. So now I gotta dump them out so I can use my mixer bowl. Dummy, all right. Let's see, I don't have any clean, where's my bowl? It's dirty. Should have done that. If I was smart, I would sift those. But I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference. I'm sure somebody thinks it's important, but all right, two eggs. I have stuff in the middle of the board. I gotta move the board right back. All right, two eggs. Nope, not in that bowl, in the wet bowl, Kelly, in the wet bowl. All right, two eggs. Um, Kim, you could probably just use Gentle Sweet if you wanted. I think it would probably be the same, my guess. But I'm finding for baked goods, plain erythritol is my favorite. I'm really, really liking it. You got the spatula, Bonnie. Spatula. I just said spatula. That was a mainism. Did you get the spatula? <laughs> it is. Yeah, OXO. Yeah, not XOX. It's OXO. <laughs> it is a good spatula. Oh, Brittany, I love Trader Joe's. Have you? Do you shop there a lot? I, we used to go down to Portland constantly before the Rona struck. I'd go every couple of months and I'd buy a whole bunch of stuff. They have a multi-grain um, sourdough that is stupid delicious. It's chewy and oh my gosh, it's so good. Jeez, calm down. Their chocolate, their um, dark chocolate, just plain dark chocolate is delicious. Their coffee, their fresh ground coffee, I love that. Um, I bought their almond milk, their fruit is cheap, their cheese is really good price. Um, there's different dips you can get there that are on plan. There is fresh cut flowers that, I mean, you're not gonna eat them, but they're worth every penny. But they have, they have some really great, great finds at Trader Joe that are on plan. Trader Joe's that are on plan. All right, eggs, half a cup of melted coconut oil, of course. My coconut oil has been melted for weeks, but today it's solid. So naturally I needed a, so where's this list that people are talking? <laughs> if you go on my page, Tammy, there is um, a link tree link you can click on and it will, it will show you my YouTube page. It will show you my um, Ninja Foodie, my, the spatula. It shows you a whole bunch of different 
kitchen stuff that I use that I really like, it'll bring you the direct link to it. It is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use, but I may receive a commission on some of them. So if you use my link, I'll be forever grateful. But it's the same price for you on there as if you went straight to Amazon. Um, all right, melted coconut, half a cup, where I put my measuring cups back. Why did I do that? I need to melt this. It's like semi, semi melted, semi soft. All right, my spatula is in here. Here's my spatula that she's talking about. This is my spatula that she's talking about and I love it, I love it, I love it. It is the best little kitchen spatula I have ever had. As dumb as that sounds, to have a favorite spatula, this is it. This is my favorite ever. I, I, I um, but when I got this one, one of you lovely ladies sent it to me. And when I got it and used it once, I was like, this is it, this is my spatula. And I threw out all my old Pampered Chef ones because they were getting cracked and stained and old looking and so. Out the door they went. This one is way better, anyway. So let's see if I can explode that all through my uh, microwave and make a mess to clean up later today. Why not? Bonnie, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. What's a spurtle, Katrina? Spurtles? What's that? What's a spurtle? All right, got my coconut oil. That's really, is it hot? It's warm. I'm not gonna put that into my raw eggs for a minute because I don't wanna cook my eggs. I'm gonna put the rest of my ingredients in there. I need two tablespoons. I have a fork and a spoon. My, listen, I have in this drawer, I have, oh, there's no clean, things in here there is a spoon in here and a fork that are my exact favorite and isn't that the best thing I have my favorite fork and if somebody takes it out and eats with it I'm not happy it just it fits my teeny little mouth perfectly a carved wooden beater for oats that's what a spurtle is? All right, I'm Googling spurtles after this. I saw that laugh at my teeny little mouth. If Sarah's still watching, she knows I have a teeny little mouth. Sarah's my bestie. She's the one with the big mouth in the relationship. All right, coconut oil, sour cream, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna go with the beaver butt this morning. The beaver butt vanilla, one and a half teaspoons. Something like that. All right, do I have everything? I'll put my, I need my zucchini, but this is first. With this up for, whoa, baby, slow your roll. I got really excited. Oil, it takes a minute to incorporate that sour cream. That was a lot more than oats. I'm gonna have to check this out. Emmy Made, if you guys watch Emmy Made, she uses uh, she uses some weird spatula for like mixing doughs and stuff. It's like I'm on the inner tubes. All right. Anyway. She's got this thing. Yes, a dough whisk. It's like, it's like this. My pen doesn't work. I was gonna draw you a very cryptic drawing of it. It's got this like squirrely, th that, there, how's that for a drawing? <laughs> my pen doesn't work. Yes, a dough whisk. I've gotta try one. It's the weirdest thing. What was I doing? My mom distracted me. All right, I gotta shred my zucchini. You need a cup, a cup of zucchini. And why zucchinis at my grocery store come packaged in this little container 
Like, I feel like this is a waste of resources. Styrofoam, saran wrap, and I only wanted two, but I had to buy three. Maybe that's why they do it. So that you have to buy more than you want. But it irritates the heck out of me. It's a waste. I'm not all like, go earth, friendly, crunchy green, but still, I think it's wise to not use plastic when you don't need to. Choke some turtle in the ocean with your plastic. All right, I'll take out this big old knife. <laughs> well, Bonnie, I know. I just don't use my mixer all the time. I love it, but I keep it under my counter. I don't use it all the time. Um, where's my shredder? I wonder if I should use my little, uh, my little ninja brain cramp, my little ninja to shred this up, or if I should shred it by hand. Maybe I'll just use my ninja. I'm kind of lazy. I'll think, we'll see. I don't know, does it shred? I don't know. Laura, this time, I my pants are falling down, you guys. I'm gonna go try on new pants today because these are a 16 and they're loose on the top. And I'm happy with that. Um, I'm So I'm gonna go try on smaller pants. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze this backside into a 14 and if I can, I'm gonna happy dance. All right. And if I can't, I'm still gonna happy dance because I'm in a 16 and not a 22, which is where I started in um, October. I was 250 pounds in a size 22 that was tight. Now I'm in a 16, I'm down 27 pounds. I'm up two pounds since my colonoscopy prep, which I knew I would be, but I feel like this is where I'm gonna stay. So I'm at 213. I'm gonna be under 200 by summer. I'm gonna, I know it. I can feel it in my fat rolls. I'm gonna be there. All right. And you know what? That means, what's my cover for my ninja? means that this summer my bathing suit that I bought years ago that are pants pants bathing suit is gonna look slamming yes because it covers my knees and that's why I like it and they're adorable all right <laughs> If you guys don't have one of these Ninja Express Choppers, click on my link, shameless plug, click on it. Huh? 37 pounds is correct? Right, did I say 27? I meant 37, whatever, I don't know. If you don't have one of these Ninja Choppers, go click on my link, go to Amazon and buy it because this stupid little gadget is one of the best things I've ever had. I absolutely love this little chopper. I use it every day for something. All right, I'm gonna put my zucchini on a paper towel and squeeze the heck out of it because you want it dry. It says I need a cup and I'm gonna guess that that looks almost exactly like a cup. Two little, zu one zucchini. I only cut up one. I cut the ends off too and cut up one. It stinks, it smells exactly like zucchini. Oof. I'm not a big zucchini unless it's in baked goods. <laughs> not a big zucchini eater. But, all right, I'm just gonna squeeze that juice out. Because the drier this is, the better it's gonna be in your, in your stuff. All right, let me get, do I have a one cupper here somewhere amidst this? pile. I do. I ripped my paper towel all to pieces when I did that, but that's okay. I should have used a cheesecloth, but I'm not that smart. We do things the easy way around here. All right, look at that. Perfect cup. 
perfect, perfect. One cup of zucchini, one little zucchini. How long have you been doing this diet? I have, I started, I restarted this diet after a two and a half year break and gaining 100% plus some back. I started at the end of uh, October, November, nope, September, like September 23rd, something like that. I started like on a Tuesday because I felt it was important. Really, Dawn? I'll have to go look at some of those videos. I know a memory came up from the first day I started THM in, in September and my face was so much bigger. I couldn't get over the different, my face, I was like, wow, holy, who's that girl? That's the sad, pathetic girl who felt miserable and hadn't found her joy quite yet. All right. Oh, it's unplugged. And no, my joy is not just in my weight, but I feel better and that makes a huge difference. When you feel good, it's easier to find your joy. When you feel like crap all the time, it's hard to be joyful. I still have my joy deep down, but I didn't let it show very often. All right, I'm gonna put my dry ingredients into my wet. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. I'm gonna air fry these, you guys, because I can't. That's what I'm gonna do. Thanks, you guys. You guys are sweet. You guys are sweet. I'm glad I can be an encouragement because the whole reason I did this page was to encourage myself. I'm telling you, you guys are the reason I've lost weight and I've been successful because you guys encourage me like you wouldn't believe. And so I'm glad that I can be an encouragement to you because uh, the it's just, you guys are such, you're, you're my lifeline these days. Uh, you get my struggle. So my husband has been, I won't say this when he's awake. He's been thin his whole life. He's, he's not thin now. He's got a gut, but he's a healthy weight. He falls into that healthy weight category. He's never had an issue with weight. He can eat a case of Reese's and gain half a pound and it'll be gone the next week. And it's just always been easy for him. And he's never understood food addictions. He's never understood that. He'd he'll watch he'll watch a cooking show and somebody'll take a bite and they'll be like, oh, and he'll he'll roll his eyes. He'll say, I don't understand how somebody can be so in love with food. It's just food. It's just a necessity to get through your life. And I'm like, how did I marry you? I don't know. I'm just kidding. He just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand food addiction. He doesn't understand obsession with snacks. He just doesn't get it and it's easy to not get when you don't have to struggle with your weight so having you I mean he's very supportive of, of don't get me wrong he's supportive of whatever I do he's a very supportive husband but I can say something to him about this diet or lifestyle or the way I'm feeling or whatever and he just don't get it so he's not a very good encouragement for that type of thing you know specifics you guys are you guys are an encouragement because you all are living it. You understand it. All right, I'm gonna get a little spray. I'm gonna cook these right here in my little, my little silicone thingy. You know what else I'm gonna shop for today, you guys? Something to hold these girls because my bras are getting too loose and every time I move, I'm like showing off my business. They're moving like more than they should. I need something to hold them in place but cause I'm getting a little lighter, my boobs are dancing and I don't need dancing boobs. There's only, there's, there's a time for dancing boobs and then there's a time not for dancing boobs. And most of the time, is dancing not dancing boob appropriate all right so they said this would be a thick batter and they weren't kidding look this is a thick batter so 
I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna roll it in little, I don't know how big. I don't know how much they're gonna rise, probably not a lot because it's almond flour and stuff and they don't, <laughs> I know. Bonnie. Try Ruby Ribbon. Is that, is that like an online thing? Is it a special bra type you buy online? I don't know, I've never heard of it. I like comfortable support. Like, I used to make fun of my mother for not wearing underwire. I was like, how can you not wear underwire, mother? You need underwire. Now I'm like, girl, can I find something just to hold these down? I don't need an underwire. Give me some duct tape. Whatever, just hold them still. I don't want them showing off my excitement. They're just, you know, and they're big. And they're probably never gonna be small, no matter how much weight I lose. I gotta be honest, these look like turkey burgers. <laughs> oh, I've seen theirs too, Bonnie. I hate ordering online bras because I, I just, I hate it. I like to try them on. You guys, these legit look like turkey burgers. Tupperware party for bras. Oh, you saying like a bra company that like comes to your house and that's genius. That's genius. Although I'd be kind of mortified. Over the shoulder boulder holder, that's right. You, some of them you can hear, Dawn, like Kohl's you can't, which is where I usually get my bras. Um, but yeah, some of them you can. All right, here's my turkey burger, AKA zucchini bread whoopie pies. They legit look like turkey burgers. <laughs> All right, I gotta assemble. Of course I didn't assemble my air fryer first because that would have been thinking. This is concerning. I just pulled my Ninja air fryer thing and there was something stuck on it and I pulled it off and it's melted plastic out of my dishwasher. So that's concerning. Something white plastic has gone through my dishwasher and melted. All right. All right, well, I'll have to check this ruby ribbon out. I can turn you this way while I do this so you can see if you want I'm just gonna slap them in here the original thing said 350 so when you bake in the ninja air fryer I'm sure there's lots of different directions for different air fryers but for the ninja foodie XL smart grill see my link for more information just kidding. <laughs> you can you lower it by 25 degrees. So I'm gonna put it on 325 and then you put the time in half. It said 10 minutes, so I'm gonna do five minutes. And I feel like that is not gonna be anywhere near enough. And I'm actually not supposed to put those in there yet. I need to preheat it first, duh. So I'll hit start, it'll preheat, and when it beeps, I will put those back in. I know, Jennifer, that day one post where I'm sitting in my chair with my hand like that, it doesn't even look like me, does it? It doesn't at all. Of course, my hair is short too, but my, my hair's still short, but my hair was very short in that picture. <laughs> Bonnie, here's the thing. I have a bunch of people asking me for a list um, of what I'm gonna make for the week so they can be prepared and maybe cook along. Well, unfortunately, most of the time, I have no idea what I'm gonna make until half an hour before I make it. <laughs> Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Oh, that's attractive. That's a good look. Yeah, that, that looks great. There. I have no idea. <laughs> it won't come off. There we go. <laughs> that's better. Oh, I hear somebody has woken up. Who's up? 
It's the child, she's awake. All right, while that's heating up and cooking, yeah, Bonnie, Bonnie uh, Rhonda, I was. I was reaching out for some encouragement because I needed it. I was in a bad place. Yep, I was in a bad place. I am not the type that prepares Bonnie and I never will be. <laughs> it doesn't just happen, but it does kinda. <laughs> I don't know. I wing it. I just decide as I go. I think I'm going to make um, another iced coffee. Where's my Where's my ingredients that I wrote down? Over here. Um, I looked up another frap recipe, like an iced, iced coffee, frozen coffee thing. <laughs> Bonnie says... Marin is the real reason they watch. Just so you know, you're the star of the show, Mir. She's like, mm. <laughs> Stacy, I've been THM this time since um, the end of September, September 23rd, this time around. I did it before for about two years, but this time I'm working on my coaching certificate. I intended to take the test this week, but this week just didn't go well. I have to finish reading a book. I got another 200 pages to read before, um, before I can... Before I take the test so I could probably take the test now because I know the plan but I want to read it in full and make sure I make sure I got it so the best way to get started crystal do you have hold on I gotta throw my pies in here do you have trim healthy table because if you ask me trim healthy table is hands down the best book because it has the plan in the front it has amazing recipes all the way through and it's like 12 bucks on Amazon and that book it's just easy start with all s meals because they're easy to figure out I think um, I think they're simpler to figure out um, start with like bacon and eggs for breakfast and for lunch have like a low carb wrap with turkey and mayo and just easy stuff, um, but anytime you have a meal, take a picture, post it on the Trim Healthy page and or on this page, somebody will jump in and tell you if you've got it right or what you might need to tweak. And there is a learning curve, so stick with it. It's not complicated, Crystal, but it takes, there is a learning curve. You're not gonna know how to do it day one out the gate. I remember the first time the very first meal about four years ago, I had Trim Healthy. I was so proud of myself. I'm like, look at this. I've got a tortilla with ham and bacon and mayo and cheese and lettuce. And I had it with a couple of pork rinds and I was so proud of myself and I had a sliced apple on the side and I'm like, look at this. And I showed it, I'm like, I'm nailing this plan. And everybody's like, mm, that's a crossover, sorry. <laughs> so I take a picture of everything you eat, post it on the page and say, did I get this right? You will quickly, you'll be answered in less than five minutes and you, and you will quickly learn the plan. It's, it'll come and then all of a sudden it'll click. What babe? I couldn't tell you cause I'm over here cooking, not over there looking at it. Oh, uh, thanks Kelly. Well, I'm excited to give it a try. I'm excited to see how it goes. And um, I gotta like plan out a curriculum I guess is the word for it uh, and see all right there's some stuff on the inside of my blender what did I blend in here last it smells funky I think I better wash it again what did I, what did I cook in here I cooked something yesterday what did I and I used my blender what did I make? I don't remember. I don't remember what we ate yesterday at all. That used my blender. Not a clue. I bought, if you put your blender away wet with a cover on it, it tends to stink. Yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, ginger juice. That's what the smell is. It's ginger. Oh, you guys, I forgot all about the ginger juice. Yeah, the membership site, if you don't have the membership, it's, it's not that expensive. And there are, especially if you're just starting out, there's a lot of videos on there. Thanks, Jen. I got it off the Amazon. 
the Zahn. All right. I have got my almonds soaking. Do I need almond milk for anything else that I'm making? Stop. All right, well, let it go. All right, so eight ounces of almond milk, heavy cream. I bought this sweater like three years ago. I never wear it, forget about it. Two tablespoons of heavy cream. That looks chunky, you guys, and I swear it's not. It looks chunky. It's thickened a little. It's got to be the gel and gum because every time I pour it into my coffee, it's like chunky and my husband freaks out. It is, I swear, it's perfectly good. It's just thick. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. All right, let's make sure I get the right thing so I don't make um, frosting out of my coffee. I got two recipes written down here. Three tablespoons of gentle sleep. Oh my gosh, I just got a whiff of those zucchini bread things. They smell really good. Really good. All right, three tablespoons of gentle sweet. Seems like a lot. I'm gonna take it down to two. It says three in the recipe. Not sure I can do that. A teaspoon of caramel. I looked you guys the um the trim healthy flavorings are back in stock I just ordered the set this morning actually my mommy ordered it for me my mommy is extremely sweet I wish you could come to my house and help me down on my knees <laughs> maybe that's a business idea I travel around the country helping people THMFI their kitchens that'd be fun we set up your kitchen and then we go grocery shopping that sounds like a fun business actually oh. don't worry man it's not happening so calm down <laughs> my parents are ridiculously awesome Katrina they are just my mom called me a few weeks ago when those flavorings come back in stock you order them and I'll send you the money I'm like, Mom, you don't have to do that. I know I don't have to. Shut up and do it, she said. Just don't question me. Do what I tell you to. All right, Mom. I will. So a little bit of glucky and some ice. Oh, my gosh. You know what I didn't make for this? Coffee. <laughs> it's supposed to have coffee in it. I'll just, oh, man. I don't have my... K cup thing set up for my and my machine is out of water. Oh my word! See, it never goes as planned. I gotta fill up my water bucket here. I'm looking at that thinking that's kind of a boring iced coffee. Well, that's because there's no coffee in it, KJ. Put coffee in your iced coffee and it won't be boring. Dummy! Now it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna have to add extra ice. Uh, ding bat. Alright. We'll just do Duncan Pod this morning because my my um filter for my unrest coffee is not set up right now. So alright. Those are not done. Those need a couple more minutes. Bake. So I'm gonna put them in for like four more minutes. They needed a lot more than that. All right, I'm gonna let it go. All right. Oh, Liz, I don't follow any instructions well. I don't. Uh, if it calls for a half a teaspoon of vanilla, I'm putting a tablespoon. <laughs> I just, you know, wing it. Whatever. And you know what? It always tastes pretty good. I mean, there's been a few times where I've thought, that was a bad idea. What just happened? Did you guys see that happening behind me? I put my K-cup in without the K-cup holder 
and the wa all I got was water with a few coffee grounds and water all over my counter. Oh my word, there is water, hot water everywhere. Oh my word. Maybe, remember when, if any of you listened to me this morning about Balaam and Balak and the donkey and how God kept putting roadblocks in front of him, Balaam or Balak, Balaam, I get the two confused, the two names, but he kept putting roadblocks in front of him. He kept making the donkey veer off the road or he kept making the donkey lay down and Balaam kept beating the donkey because he was mad at what the donkey was doing. And finally, the donkey looked at him and spoke and said, why are you beating me? I'm just trying to rescue you. This is The Lord is showing right there and you're not paying attention, so I'm trying to stop you. Maybe that's what the Lord's doing with my coffee. Maybe he's saying, today's not a day for coffee, KJ. Stop having it. And yet I'm pushing through and ignoring and drinking my coffee. Do you think? There's water everywhere, everywhere. Well, that's brew. Oh man, I just put my hand under there. It is like soaked. I'm gonna have to move my whole coffee maker and clean that up. I wanna show you guys what I did this morning. My sponge from the THM ladies, I have the sponge. Somebody said when it starts to look worn out to put it in a cup of boiling water. So I did and look at it. Can you see it? Is the light too bright? It looks brand new. I have had the same sponge for four months and I put it in that boiling water and it looks like a brand new one. If you guys don't use this, go buy one. Hang it in your shower and wash your face with it. It is the best tool and oh, it's my favorite thing in my shower besides the water, of course. Let's put that up there. It is awesome. All right, let's check this banana bread. Yeah, yeah. All right, I gotta stick a toothpick in it. Hold on. Well, they're coming out clean. So I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume that my things are done here. My counter, if you could see. It, start, it was nothing on it when I started this video, and now I can't even... You grow your own loofahs, of course you do. Who grows their own loofah? I didn't even know you could grow a loofah for crying. Maybe it's because there's somebody calling. Can you watch your phone so that it, when she calls, it answers and it doesn't freeze up my video? All right, are you back? Can you guys hear me again? I guess that's because... Um, somebody was trying to call me on video. Are you back? Tell me you're back. Sorry. Okay, you're back. All right, sorry you guys. Are you saying yes? Okay, good. Sorry about that. All right. Anyway, these are my zucchini bread cookies. And they look pretty good. They look, ooh, they're hot. I've got to let them cool before I go touching them because they're gonna, I have a feeling they're going to be extremely delicate. They look extremely delicate. So while those are resting and my coffee's cooling, I will throw another batch in. Come here and try calling her, please. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All right. Uh, whoop, I didn't spray it. All right, my turkey burger batter. <laughs> I'm trying to think, there's other things I've been wanting to make for you guys. So I'm trying to think what, I've got a lot of requests. I know people want Chinese food and I will do that at some point. It just has to be the right day. Um, oh, Bonnie, you need to unwrap them and use them. They're so great. I am gonna make more of those um, low carb buns today so that I can have those this week. And I found a second low carb tortilla. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't think of that. 
Susan, I can put it on Do Not Disturb right now. There. How's that? No. There. That's a good idea, Susan. I didn't even think of that. Um, I don't know, Demetria, if you really need to spray them, but I just have OCD about that kind of thing, and I spray things. All right, I think I got enough for one more. I don't think I'm gonna get... <laughs> Bonnie, I could probably make turkey burgers to look like whoopie pies and call it a thing. Um, I'm not gonna get a sixth one out of this. I'm just shy. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of batter from each one of these so that I can get a sixth one. Nicole, I rarely turn on my oven these days, maybe twice a week. Maybe, if that. Like, what did I make it? Oh, I baked chicken in it this week. I made barbecue glazed chicken. Um. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bonnie. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. I totally just lost my, my, I, I totally just went off the railroad again. My brain this morning is not staying on track very well. I think I said something about Chinese food, that I was going to try Chinese food at one point. I've got to make the low carb buns today. Um, I thought there was a dog here and there. Is there? That's gross. Whatever. Um, that's what I was going to say. The chicken, Rhonda, that chicken is, isn't that so good? I bake that in the oven because there's a lot of grease from the chicken thighs and it spreads a lot. The barbecue stuff spreads a lot in the pan. I don't put it in my air fryer because I just think it's going to be messy and it's a lot more cleaning up to do and I don't want to do that. So, all right. Um, I will do this. Bake. 325, we're gonna do eight minutes this time. Because five was not enough. Um, so yeah, I use my air fryer way, way, way more than my oven, a lot more. No, Dawn, my allergy, I did finish the Rubim. I had to take a Benadryl though. I don't know if it was in the relish, but I got oversharing. I got this great big blister inside my lip from it. Great big, huge blister. It's not a cold sore, it's a blister from allergy. But it didn't affect my breathing at all, so um, it's okay. But my coffee's okay, Bonnie. I was just letting it cool a little bit. I'm gonna, I gotta get some ice for my... Are you, I bet you're talking, Meredith, about the chicken, the barbecue glazed chicken. I did make it, and there's a video on YouTube for it, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, go out. I'm watching a video, and I'm missing things. They asked if there was a comedian lady on the age. <laughs> oh, my word. That's hilarious. That comedian lady. All right. My cover is in the bottom of my sink with my batter covered beater, but that's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. And I'm going to wing this thing up. Where's this thing up in Brenda? I'm going to stick it on the smoothie setting. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, if you guys, um, if you guys don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd sincerely appreciate it. I'm trying to build that up over there. I'm a little over a thousand followers, um, and I really want to. I really want to build it up. Um, Meredith, are you talking about the Reuben or are you talking about uh, the chicken? Because 
The Reuben isn't up on YouTube yet. I'm having trouble loading it. I gotta get on a computer today and, and load it with the computer. It won't upload from my phone for some reason, but the chicken is out there. The barbecue glazed chicken. It's just a short, it's like a, it's like a two minute video that I made. It's not a live like this, but it is our favorite chicken. And before THM, I ate, um, it's the shake and bake barbecue chicken glaze. Um, we ate it all the time, all the time. So that's what I made for the family, but I knew for me I had to have, this was quite a while ago, I knew I had to have an alternative because it is, oh, the creme brulee coffee. That, I made that with something else. What, um, what else did I make that with? I can't remember um, I can't remember what I made the creme brulee coffee with I'll have to go find it and I'll send you a link um, my favorite smoothie I think is the banana bread one I shared it with my mom I told her all about it she watched the video and she's like okay I think I'll make this coffee this uh, banana bread smoothie and she made it and she called me and she said Kelly I'm really sorry but that tastes nothing like banana bread she thinks that banana bread smoothie she's nuts I love you mom but you're nuts you need some new taste buds she didn't think she didn't like it at all she thought it tasted just like banana. She didn't. Th she didn't think it was that good at all. I think she's cuckoo pants because I think it's delicious. All right. So this is just an iced coffee, not like a frap or anything, because I used hot coffee. If I had used cold coffee, it would be more like a, a frap. But it's just caramel iced coffee. I should have put some protein powder in there. It would have been a good breakfast. Mmm. Mmm. That's yummy. That's yummy. And that was the perfect amount of sweetener instead of, I totally agree with you, Petrina, a banana whey protein would be awesome. I think somebody said it. I think I made the creme brulee with the Pop-Tarts. Yeah, I'm out of bananas, so I, I need to get some because I want more banana bread smoothie. All right, these have cooled a little bit, so let's take a look at them. They're kind of wet on the bottom. I don't know if that's from the pan or from the ingredients, but see, they're kind of wet. Ooh, they're real wet. They're cooked. Are they even cooked? Mmm, ooh. Tastes quite good. I feel like they're way too wet on the bottom. I feel like I need to flip these and cook them a little bit longer on the bottoms. I don't know if it's because the silicone sweats. I'll put that broken hat one with a bite out of it back in there. I think I'm gonna put those in the I think I'm gonna put those in my air fryer for a couple of minutes on dehydrate because anything, any baked good that I find out comes out wet, sometimes, not everything, like a cake, plain old cake doesn't work. But if I put them in that thing on dehydrate, it sucks kind of some of that moisture out of it. Yep, I think you're right, Cindy. I probably need to take them out of the pan right away because that these pans sweat. And I think that's what happened. So I'll, that batch I'll rescue in a little while. I'll dry those out. I'll let them sit and dry them out. Do you want to try the banana bread, or zucchini bread, whatever it is? All right, so I need to clean this and I need to whiz up the frosting for the middle, the filling. I don't like this manual labor. I wish I had an instant, I just... Oh. Sure, it's all wet now. If my sink wasn't full of dirty dishes. 
inches, then this would be significantly easier. But alas, there's a reason I have that sign in my window. Do you guys see that sign? Do you know what it says? It says, the dishes are looking at me dirty again. And that's because they are. They're always dirty. You come right up here, Cindy. I got a spare recliner. I don't have a spare bed, but you can sleep in the recliner. It can be my sous chef. Clean up my mess. Is that what a sous chef does? Clean up my stuff. I just got, look, I'm soaked. Honest to Pete. I got water all behind my sink now, all under my coffee maker. That's all right. Four ounces of creme cheese. Yep, it says the dishes are looking at me dirty again. So they're always looking at me dirty. Yeah, it's true, Brenna. I can clean this house and be like, look, <laughs> scullery me. <laughs> I say, look how clean the house is. I sit down at the end of the day and I'm like, I done good. And then I go to bed at like nine and when I wake up, a tornado went through and I don't know why or where it came from. Rhonda, I didn't give him any xylitol. I use the xylitol free gentle sweet. Dogs cannot have xylitol. I will not have xylitol in my house at ever, 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 ever. Not happening. So it's uh, it was just regular sweetener, xylitol free. All right, yes, this is full fat cream cheese. Almost always when I bake, I use um, the Neuf de Shell, Neuf de whatever, Neuf de Shell, Neuf de Tell, I don't know how to pronounce it. The low fat cream cheese, but I didn't have any today for some reason. I don't know why I had, I think I might've got this by mistake because usually I, that's what I buy, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I don't blame you, Cindy. I'd be hard pressed to leave Florida this time of year too. I would be. All right, what else? Four ounces of cream cheese, six tablespoons of softened butter. Naturally, I do not have six tablespoons, so that means I have to soften my butter. I've tried the whole trick, like putting a glass full of hot water and then putting it over this and um, it doesn't work. They lie. I'm gonna go longer. I'm gonna go longer. I think they need longer. Let's go two more minutes. Two more minutes. Start. No preheating. No preheating. Add the food. There we go. All right, anyway, supposedly you can soften. Lori, was it you that said, I saw somebody say you clean up as you go. My videos already end up being like an hour because I'm slow at cooking. If I cleaned up as we go, you guys would be sitting here till 10 p.m. waiting for me to finish the ingredients. <laughs> so I just leave it everywhere and then clean it. If I were cooking just for myself and not on video, then yes, I would be cooking, I would be cleaning up as I go, probably, maybe, likely, I mean, most likely. How many tablespoons of this butter? Six. So that's to rate. There. Now I'm gonna melt that, or soften it. I don't wanna melt it. It says to soften it, so I'm just gonna do like 10 seconds. I still explode and make a mess out of my microwave. Not yet. I wish there was some real good trick to softening butter because it really irritates me. Every time I need, I need something with softened butter, my butter is as hard as a rock. Every time. starting to melt so it's soft enough all right <laughs> I'm not dressed up it's just a sweater 
<laughs> Thank you, though. I, just, I got jeans with holes in them. See? It's not dressy. My jeans are holy. They're the Lord's jeans. Um, all right. Okay, back to you. Oh, now they're overdone. That's okay. They're done enough. They're good enough. Let's pop these babies out on the rack this time. Okay, hold on. I'll show them to you in a second here. I'll show them to you. Hold on. Where's my mitts? They're over here. They're a little bit dark, but I think they're going to be okay. So there they are. I'm going to pop them out right off this time so they don't sweat. Oh, they do look better than the other ones. They do look better. I think I can salvage the other ones, though. It's okay. So, note to self, don't leave things sitting in the silicone pans for very long or they will get gushy. All right, I need a cup of Gentle Sweet. This frosting... Hey, darn well, better be good, I'm telling you right now, because this is a cup of Gentle Sweet, so it had better be good if I'm using a whole cup of my precious Gentle Sweet. One cup. Whew. Smoky. All right, a half a teaspoon of beaver butt. If people that have never watched me before just log on here and they're like, why is she put it, why does she keep pulling that beaver butt? I'm sure they'd think I'm nuts. All right. So the other thing that I'm going to do with this is this recipe does not call for chocolate chips in the frosting, but I think frosting with chocolate chips in the middle is the bomb.com. The smoke coming from that stuff. So I'm going to add chocolate chips. Huh? She's in her bedroom talking to Taylor. I think this is going to need a little bit of almond milk because it's really stiff. husband just gave me the funniest look. Did I say something stupid? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Guys, this looks good. You know what would be really good in this would be cinnamon. It needs some. It needs just a little bit. Just a splash of almond milk. Okay. It's stuck to the sides. I'm going to scrape it down. Dawn, I have an Instapot. Don't return it, it's an awesome tool. Oh, to get it, okay, yes. If I could only choose one, an air fryer or an Instapot, I would absolutely 100% get an air fryer because I use it all the time, all the time. But I do use my Instapot, I like to make egg bites out of it, I can boil potatoes in it like that. It makes good broccoli, it makes really good rice. The rice comes out good on the Instapot. I do use it a lot, um, but I haven't used it a lot on here. I don't know why, because I haven't, but I do like it. I think my husband might be getting ready to go out to town with his friends. So, when you, oh, that frosting, yum, that cream cheese. When you make this, when you first taste it, that frosting is going to taste gritty but the longer it you know when it after it sits for a little bit it kind of dissolves into the frosting and it won't feel gritty anymore so i am going to add a little more almond milk because i want this to be fluffy i should put actually you know what i should put is a little heavy cream instead of almond milk so it doesn't get too thin i want it a little bit fluffier because right now it's really dense. I'm gonna put a little heavy cream in there and that will um, thicken as I whip it too. Whip it, whip it cool. Scrape 
scraping down the sides. I know some people scrape down the sides while it's still going, but when I do that, I almost break a wrist every time. All right. That looks delicious. chocolate chips in this because I think chocolate chips in frosting is genius so I'm going to do it you do not have to no pressure it's your whoopie pie you do what you want to do me on the other hand I want it so I'm going to do it do you smell pancakes no girl you smell zucchini bread whoopie pies Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna sprinkle a few. It doesn't have to be a ton. A few chocolate chips. Really? Well, she might be. All right. Oh, okay. We'll talk about that later. Okay. All right. Chocolate chip frosting. One time I made the Trimtastic cake from Trim Healthy Cookbook. What do you need, sweet girl? The basket. You don't need the basket for those. You can put it right in. No. Mira. Mom, it breaks the liner. What? That's what you said. No. If I put it in the liner. If you stop. Here, use that basket. It's hot, so don't touch the metal in there. Hold on, I need to help the daughter here. I'm, gonna... I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Let me see. Let me see. I'll just, I can eyeball it. It's three fourths chocolate. Put that bag back when you're done. All right. Anyway, I made the Trimtastic, the chocolate Trimtastic cake a while ago. Like the last time I did THM and I made a cookie dough frosting for the top of it. That was the bomb. It was the bomb. That's exactly what she's having, Bonnie. My potato loving girl. All right, I need a Ziploc baggie from a frosting. Yes, I will take care of it for you, sweet girl. Whole family's awake now. Love you too, babe. All right, I'm going to put my frosting into this bag because it's going to be easier to squeeze into my whoopie pies. So the other thing I'll say about this, if I was not making this on video, I would have put, um, I would have I would have let the dough sit out for an hour before I put it in my air fryer and I would let them cool completely maybe even overnight in the fridge before I filled them but I I'm not gonna keep you guys on the camera for 47 hours to make whoopie pies <laughs> so all right I can no longer see you guys' comments just so you know I don't know why all of a sudden they'll catch up, I bet, but comments are gone for some reason. Facebook. All right, there you go. I think I just turned them back on. I don't know what happened or why they disappeared, but yes, I made cookie dough ice cream dawn. No, cookie dough frosting. Is there any THM sweeteners that don't give the cooling effect after the dessert has cooled? Stevia, if you use just straight stevia, it does not give a cooling effect. Um, erythritol does, xylitol does, so that means super sweet and gentle sweet do. But if you do straight stevia powder, that doesn't have a cooling effect. Um, it's probably not gonna taste as sweet pure isn't as bad either bonnie that's right pure sweetener 
is comparable to super sweet but it doesn't have as much of a cooling effect so I, I've gotten used to that cooling effect when I first had it I was like uh, I don't know what to think about that but now I'm so used to it it doesn't bother me now now I just I don't even notice that anymore all right these are warm but can you even see them they're warm but I'm gonna eat one with frosting right now anyway so you guys can see what it comes out like all right look at that baby girl look at that look at it how beautiful is that whoopie pie nailed it now as long as it tastes as good as it looks here's here goes nothing It is good. It is as good as it looks. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is delicious, you guys. This is my breakfast. Right here. That came out amazing. That is a real, what are you looking for? Huh? A screwdriver? Hmm. I am really surprised at the quality of the cookie. It's a very good texture. It's a little bit wet, the dough. So I think that will dry out as they sit on the counter some today because I'm gonna put my frosting in the fridge and I'm not gonna fill the rest of them until They've dried out some. I think they need to dry out some, but even so, as it's warm. That's right, Cindy. It's turkey burgers filled with frosting. <laughs> it's my turkey burger whoopie pie. <laughs> it's really good. Mm-hmm. The frosting is the bomb. <laughs> my husband just went, the frosting. If you if you've ever watched Christmas Vacation, when the old man, uh, what's his name, uh, Lewis, and he goes, the blasting. That's what my husband just did. The frosting. <laughs> Ooh, I dropped a chocolate chip. That's one of those. You to Kim, I linked the recipe um, to the top of this post. Um, Yes, and these are an S. These are a heavy S because they are full of cream cheese and heavy cream and butter, and they are definitely a heavy S, but they are <laughs> absolutely delicious, and I'm, the frosting is melting. I'm, about, I'm falling all over my counter. All over my counter. Oh, my gosh. It's because I put the frosting in there warm. It's like melting. The dog is staring me down right now. You can't have this. It has chocolate chips. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Anywho, all right, you guys, you've got to make these. You have got to make these. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go finish it. Dry out my other ones. Fill them full of frosting. Oh, man. Kathy, if you're watching, I was going to give you some of these, but now I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I might keep them for myself because they're really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm a mean friend. All right. So I think my husband is going to town with his friend. And if he does, I will come back on and make low carb noodles, S noodles today. So be on the watch out. I don't know. For sure, if I will, it'll depend if he's gone. I will, Bonnie. I'm going to share with my friend. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll give her one. 
them. Are you going to town? You're not? I thought you were going. Huh? Are you sure you're not or you just haven't heard from him yet? Oh well. You could probably freeze these to last longer, Kelly. But why would you? <laughs> why would you do that when you can eat them? <laughs> no, I think you could, you could stick them in the freezer. They'd probably be really good frozen, actually. Oh, all right. He doesn't care if I make another video. So let me clean up my mess. And then I will get my recipe out for noodles after the kitchen is clean again and I will make noodles live for you in a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to take me to clean my kitchen. Plus put up, the, put away the, all the stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, go away Tony. Hashtag go away. You guys, I kind of just want to squeeze that straight into my mouth. That frosting. Alright, I'll let you go for now. I'll clean up my kitchen. I'll come back on. I'll make noodles for y'all. And I'll have noodles for lunch today. So, alright, Bonnie, I'm jealous, girl. If I could jump on a plane right now and come out and hang with you for the afternoon, I would drink unrest coffee together. Play with our pots and pans. All right, I love you all. Have a beautiful Saturday. Don't go cheating today. I know some people say, well, it's not cheating. It's a personal choice to go off plan for a meal. You don't gotta do that. Knock it off. You don't need to go off plan. It's unnecessary. There's no reason to do it. There is not a restaurant you're gonna go to today that you cannot get a salad version of whatever it is that you wanna eat. So. Just don't be cheating. <laughs> All right. Share this video, please. I want you to because I want more YouTube subscribers. Shameless plug. All right. I'll come back in a little while. I love you all. Have a blessed whatever hour, half an hour, whatever it takes for me to come back. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.